Hello guys and welcome back for another episode. This is Smiles from Swiss Crypto Podcast and in today's episode I'm going to talk about Binance and its very strange connection to India. So stay tuned and let's get into it. Binance has acquired the well-known Indian crypto exchange Wazir X, bringing easier cryptocurrency access to a population of over 1 billion people. According to an announcement published in November, users will be able to use Indian rupees or INR to buy and sell crypto via the Binance fiat gateway as early as the end of November. Now, so much for the introduction. What the F? Uh, I honestly have to say I'm a bit perplexed uh, by this article, um, by the action of Binance in what direction they want to enlarge their territory to India. Um, If you have watched or listened my podcast about India and its stance on cryptocurrency, Um, I will link that in the upper right corner too. Um, You know that India has quite a special stance on cryptocurrency since they wanted to actually ban all the cryptocurrencies and especially Bitcoin from India, that they wanted to ban cryptocurrency from the Indian people and that they even put up a motion in the Indian parliament, I believe, Um, to put that ban into the laws of India. Um, That hasn't happened yet. So cryptocurrency is not yet finally banned in India. And that was also not so clear if that really would happen. Um, If you've been in the cryptocurrency sector for some time, you know that the company Ripple also wanted to distribute XRP, their token, to the Indian people or even implement Ripple into the Indian economy by partnering up with basically all of the Indian banks. And if I'm not wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, um, I believe that Ripple has actually partnered with most of the Indian banks too. So back then I was also stunned that Ripple is doing that step, um, that they were able and were willing to partner up with banks in India, even though the government of India isn't that amused when it comes to cryptocurrency, blockchain and Bitcoin. Um, But they did it. They pushed adoption. Who knows what there will come from this. But as I said in the last podcast, I talked about that motion that they wanted to put up in the parliament to ban all cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin. That's proved a little bit their negative sentiment on cryptocurrency. And now we hear from Binance that they opened up a corridor to India by acquiring the crypto exchange Wazir X and making cryptocurrency more accessible for Indian people by allowing them to even use the Indian rupees to buy and sell cryptocurrency via the Binance fiat gateway. So. That's pretty strange. Um, From what I've heard, they now put the motion to ban cryptocurrency on ICE in India, at least for the coming weeks or months. But let's see what that article also has to say in detail. During the first quarter of 2020, Wazir Access auto matching engine will be integrated into the Binance Fiat gateway so that Binance.com users will be able to directly place orders on the flagship exchange to purchase Tether USDT against INR. With this integration, any crypto tradable on Binance.com will become accessible for those who purchase USDT via Wazir X. In an interview, Kashif Raza, co-founder of the Indian Crypto Regulatory News and analysis platform Crypto Canoon, welcomed the development, suggesting that the acquisition will provide a major morally boost to the Indian startup space at a time of deep regulatory uncertainty. Now, you see where I'm coming from. Um, even Kashif Raza, the co-founder of the 
Indian crypto regulatory news and analysis platform Crypto Canoon is happy about this news, but still we can feel the uncertainty going on. As they said, that time of deep regulatory uncertainty, there have been um, exchanges, I think if I believe correctly, Coin Delta, that have been forced to terminate services in India. And now Binance partnering up and opening a gateway to India as one of or even the biggest cryptocurrency exchange in the world is quite impressive. Now let's see what Binance says to that development. In a statement, Binance Chief Financial Officer Wei Su remarked that building fiat to crypto bridges remain a key mission for Binance, adding that the acquisition of Wazir X will help Binance in this mission by providing a simple and cohesive way to purchase cryptocurrencies in a country which is home to more than a billion people. Binance's chief executive Zhang Peng Zhao has said the move represents another step forward in achieving the freedom of money. Now that it is for sure, um, I do think that it's a very important step to make cryptocurrency also accessible to Indian people, especially because over 1 billion people live inside India. So the adoption that we can expect coming from India in the future years will be very, very big and will play a very important role in the adoption of cryptocurrency, in my opinion. Now that we've had news some weeks or days ago that the Indian government won't uh, introduce that motion of banning cryptocurrency and Bitcoin in India, um, the regulatory uncertainty is still there. Um, I think it's a very good sign that Binance made that step into making cryptocurrency accessible for the Indian people. I do think that there's a bright future, especially because there are a lot of Indian people that are still unbanked and cryptocurrency could really solve that problem. But as I said, the regulatory framework is still uncertain. I honestly don't know where this will go. Um, the government was very negative on cryptocurrency. The people are for cryptocurrency. Now Binance is doing big steps for cryptocurrency adoption in India. I don't know what to believe. I just really hope that this works out well for Binance, for cryptocurrency and also Bitcoin in India. But we'll have to sit here and wait until we hear something new from the Indian parliament and Indian government. So that's been it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed the content I provided. If you did so, feel free to subscribe to the channel. That would mean a lot to me. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.